Hey, what is going on guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a simple Lua script into Lua C, such as this walk speed script right here. Um, so what we're going to start off is by looking at the script itself. And as you can see, th what it's basically saying is we're going to go into the game, go into the players, local player, character, humanoid, and then into walk speed. Um, and then we're going to take that walk speed and we're going to set it to 100. And if you really think about this, it's read left to right. And it's in a hierarchical type of view. So if you really think about it, it's just game, players, local player, character, humanoid, walk speed, and like that. Basically, walk speed equals 100. So what it's basically saying is we're going to just go ahead and t take this walk speed and set it to 100. And it's the walk speed is part of humanity, which is located in character, which is located in local player and players and so forth. So how we're going to go ahead and start off is go by going uh, by going into um, by going ahead and grabbing game first. So we're going to do get global game. And then next what we're going to do is get field negative one players. And the reason why we're doing negative one is because players is one under game. If you really look, if you look at it, see, it's just one under game. And then so we're going to do the same for local player get field negative one local players local player get field oops sorry about that negative one character get field negative one humanoid and now walk speed is a little bit different we are not going to be getting the field we're setting the field because obviously we're setting it to a hundred but we're going to push a number first because we need to know what we're setting walk speed to. So that is why we push number first. So we're going to do push number 100. Because we're going to want to know that we're put setting walk speed to 100 first. Because we need to know what number we're setting it to. So we're then next word we're going to do is do set field negative 2 walk speed. And the reason why we're doing um, negative 2 is because if you think about it, Walk speed is still under humanoid, so we just got to take it up and move it up one and then two. It would be right under the humanoid, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, I th hope that makes sense. If not, you can still comment down below. I, I hope it makes sense to you guys. Um, and basically all we're doing is just saying we're setting walk speed to 100. We're going to define that the number we're going to set walk speed to is 100, and then we're going to set it. And oops. We're setting it in um, walk speeds also located in the character humanoid and stuff. That's all it's saying. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and test this out in a game. Um, I'm just going to load up a game real quick. Just give me a second and load up my exploit. Mm, give me a second. Okay. There we go. And excuse me, Roblox. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Boop. Boop. Like that. Uh, excuse me. Finish loading that up. Okay. And now we're just going to load up Aspect real quick, which is my exploit. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and join the game. I'm sorry for the ding and bong. and That's just a notification. Um, as you can see, I'm not walk speeded. I'm just walking around normally. And for some reason, I don't have a face. <laughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is just rewrite that whole what we just wrote back there in uh, the executor. So get global game, get field, negative one players, um, get field, negative one local player, um, get field, negative one um, character, and then get field, negative one humanoid. And now we uh, now we got to remember we got to push the number first. Human, oh, sorry, humanoid. We got to push the number of one hundred because that's what we want to walk as fast as. Push number one hundred, and then we're gonna set the field negative two of walk speed. Bam. Okay. Look at that. Our walk speed has been set. Now the reason why that works is just because I've already explained. You're basically just going into the character, the the player the the humanoid the push number and the walk speed um i hope i've explained that well enough um and
then it allows me to set my my walk speed and things like that. Now say if I also wanted to go ahead and set my jump power at the same time. I would all all I would have to do is just do Oh, for some reason this is glitched out. Okay. My uh little uh console here is uh, glitched out. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that too. I uh, it's weird. It's being glitchy. Oh well. Um basically what we would go ahead and do is In here, we would just also do push number, and then whatever we want to set our jump power to. So maybe 150. Um, set field negative two, I believe, and um, we're gonna do jump power. But we're gonna remove the first part of the code, just like that, and it's the same exact thing as we did with walk speed just like that so let's just go ahead and go like this pull up a roblox real quick again in uh, aspect in a second and what we're just gonna do um, i'm sorry for that i i don't mean uh, if my voice is loud also please tell me i've modified my voice a little bit so it's a little bit less loud because after watching some of the previous 20 takes my voice was pretty loud so i lowered it and i d hope it's not too low um so what we're gonna do is just get well, actually, it's usually best to empty the stack. Um, the stack is something else I would like to cover in another video. But anyway, we're just going to do get global game. And then we're just going to do the same as up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this real quick. Just like this. Um, and then we're going to do get. Um, actually, we're going to push number. Push number. Hold on, let me just proof that I don't have a high walk or jump power and I'm gonna go push number 150 set field the it just looks so wrong like the way I spelt it I don't know I'm sorry and then we're setting the field jump power okay BAM look at that jump power is set um, so that's basically how to set values using Lewis C um, so yeah I just wanted to make a little tutorial because I've been asked a few times how to make a few Lewis C scripts and I decided to make a tutorial because it seemed like you guys wanted it. I've been asked over like 20 times now. So that's why I decided to make this video. If you guys want me to make like a more in-depth on on Lewis C, uh, making Lewis C scripts and those types of things, I made this video more of as a short just answer to people. Um, but if you guys want like a better video, just let me know and I will make it. Uh, so thanks. And I'm sorry for uploading a day late. Um, I, I meant to upload this yesterday, but I had a few things to do, um, such as update my exploit because it's a big update, and then I was being lazy and other things. But anyway, so all I wanted to say was, um, so yeah, if you guys want to see anything else, uh, just comment below what you guys want to see. Or, um, yeah, and I say um a lot. I say it so much, and I can't help it. I honestly can't help saying um so much. I'm trying though. Well, I'm I'm really conscious about it now because I've been told about it a lot. But anyway. So yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed and uh yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Just let me know what you guys think. So uh thanks. See you until next time. Peace.